All right, on this tip, what we're gonna do is track in a piece of video onto a billboard, like in this shot here. So a couple of things, you can see that there's a slight move on the camera because it wasn't on a tripod. So what we need to do is motion track the position move on the base layer and apply that to our new video layer. So this is our base layer and we're gonna drop in the video that we wanna put into the billboard. So drag that on top. So first what we wanna do is just roughly scale this piece of footage down to the size of the billboard. And just set it over the top of the billboard like that. Now we wanna select the bottom layer and apply that motion track. So we just select it, go into our tracker controls and select track motion. Now when you hit the track motion, you get a new window up with a track point. And you wanna put that track point over a part of the image that's very easy for the After Effects to track. So you pick a corner, something with hard lines. So I'm gonna go to the edge of the billboard. And then I just hit play. And what that's going to do is the tracker box is sitting on the corner of the billboard. So as the cursor moves through the program and there's a bit of camera move, it's just gonna move up, down, left and right. You can even do scale if you want it to go back and forth. But with this one, because it's just movement, X and Y axes only, no real Z movement, we'll just leave it as is. Okay, so that's gone along and tracked the movement on the base layer. What we wanna do now is apply that data to the video layer that we're gonna put into the billboard. So we just select apply, Dimensions X and Y, OK. And what we'll see is that all the position keyframes have now applied themselves to the position settings on the top layer. So let's just move that into place with the anchor point. So we select A, drag our clip across so it's over the top. So now what we want to do is set the video layer to the same kind of angle as what the billboard was. So two things, we'll change the rotation and then we're gonna add a distort filter, which is like a, a corner pin. So we're gonna go into rotation and just rotate it roughly in. So we just go up into effect, distort and corner pin. And what this gives us is a little uh, position on each corner of our video and we just drag that into the corner of the billboard. So now what I wanna do is make the video look like it's actually sitting in the billboard. And as you can see, there's a little bit of the tree that's covering the bottom right hand corner. So I wanna cut out a bit of that branch and stick it back on top. So I wanna duplicate the bottom layer, drag it on top of the video layer, grab my mask pen tool and just cut out a little bit of the branches. So it's sitting on top, the edges are a little bit sharp. So we wanna press F to bring up the feathering tool and probably go up to about 25, and that looks pretty cool. Probably what we wanna do now is color correct the two videos, because they'll both shot in different locations, and this is gonna help sell the technique. So I'm gonna select the bottom layer, and go into color correction, into curves, apply that same effect to the video layer, and match up my contrast. And the last thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a mask around the entire video layer and just feather those edges so it looks a little bit more like it's sitting on the billboard again. So I select the video layer and if I go up to my masking tools and select the rectangle tool and double click it, it brings up a mask around the entire image. I don't have to bother drawing my own. Then again, press F to bring up feather, probably about 10. Then I'll go into the mask expansion and put it up to about negative 15. I think the edges need to be feathered a bit more, 25. And there we go, Arlo's sitting in the billboard as though he was always there. So what we've done is we've taken a video from somewhere else and we've placed it into the billboard. But it's not really the only way you can use this technique. This would be good for changing signs on windows or the numbers or prices on like uh, petrol signs or anything like that. Really, all you're doing is tracking one object onto another and selling it as though it was always there. Nice work, Nick. You're making Her Majesty proud. Now, on with the show.